Alright, hey, Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, let me give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Bashem Yahweh Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, those are great millstones, Shalom to the hopefully elect. Alright, scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing the word and truth and in sincerity, you know, seeking Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai in these last days and the hopes of mercy and grace. You know, uh, I just want to touch on, on this real quick because I seen something that I just thought was crazy, man. And Lord willing, later on, I'll actually uh, do a little bit more on this. I'm actually on my way, you know, to go to work right now. So can't really uh, do what I want to do. But Lord willing, later I'll be able to, you know, like when I get off work or something. Uh, basically... I was watching this debate between Sakari and uh, some other group. Not really watching the whole thing, but just kind of read the title. Which the title was, um, Can Yahweh Shai Save You and Can He Die for Your Sins? You know, and it was some Old Testament Israelites and then Sakari, you know, having this debate. Which the whole thing is bugged out. You know, if you're an Old Testament Israelite, well, the Old Testament speaks about, you know, the Savior, Yahweh Shai. You know, that the Messiah would come and deliver uh, Israel from their sins. You know, and that um, the only way that, you know, Yahweh Shai says himself, the only way to the Father is through him. It's through Yahweh Shai. You know, that's, you know, one of the things he said was, you know, show me anywhere in the scriptures where it says that you got to pray through Yahweh Shai to the Father, you know. Well, it tells you in the scriptures that Yahweh Shai is the mediator. mediator. Alright, it tells you in the scriptures that, you know, Yahweh Shai says himself, there's no way to the Father except through me, through Yahweh Shai, you know, through him. Alright, you know, there's another scripture that basically, uh, you know, it shows uh, the images of um uh Moses and uh Elijah the prophet and it says uh and then it shows you how it shines says this is my son hear ye him you know basically saying that Yahweh Shai is above you know uh, uh the law and the prophets man it's a is a he's above it all right, all judgment is committed to Yahweh Shai. We, so you got to be, you got to seek Yahweh Shai, bro. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh. You got to seek Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, okay? You got to seek Yahweh, uh, the Most High through his son, all right? And then you got Sakari over here. They're lame ass, you know, talking about how um, they don't believe that you're supposed to worship Yahweh Shai, that Yahweh Shai is not worthy to be worshipped. Well, then what's this scripture about? St. John 5 and 19, it says, Then answered Yahweh Shai and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, The Son can do nothing of himself, but what he seeth the Father do. What the hell? Get out of here. But what he seeth the Father do, um, for what things soever he doeth, these also doeth the Son likewise. For the Father loveth the Son, and showeth him all things that himself doeth. And he will show him greater works than these, that ye may marvel. For as the Father raiseth up the dead and quickeneth them, even so the Son quickeneth whom he will. For the Father judges no man. Look at this. That means the Most High, his Son, Yahweh Shai, is doing everything. Alright? The Most High has committed all action unto his Son. It says, for the Father judgeth no man, but hath uh, committed all judgment unto the Son. Come on, bro. That all men should honor the Son, even as they honor the Father. He that honoreth not the Son, honoreth not the Father, which has sent him. Look, bro. Look. You kidding me? That's plain. It's in the it's in the scriptures. It's red letter. This is what Yahweh Shai said himself. Basically, if you don't honor Yahweh Shai, you are not. You can't honor the Father. You can't please the Most High except through His Son. So, if, hey man, if you don't have the Lord, 
if you don't have your Howard side, man, all right, you are not, you, you can't be saved. There is no salvation. Who's going to save you? Who's going to save you from the wicked, man? Who's going to save you from the wrath of the Most High, man? Because the, the Most High is going to, how about Shemi Shah is going to take a vengeance upon all those that don't believe, all right? In the sun, in Yahweh Shai. You know, it tells you in the scriptures because he have not believed on the only begotten Son of the Most High. You know? And, uh, Lord willing, later on I'll be able to actually play the video and, uh, you know, bring it out again. And maybe go a little bit deeper into it. I'm actually, you know, driving right now, but, you know, this is the point, man. Like, did y'all miss this scripture? <laughs> I don't get it, man. And there's more than this, but I'm just, you know, this is just, well, you know, for me, this is just the coldest cut, man. It's just, you know, the quickest, the the the, the quick, you know, quick, sharp, and powerful, you know. It's quick, just bam, you know. They all men should honor the Son, even as they honor the Father. He that honor it not the Son, honor it not the Father which is sent him. So you over here talking about the Most High this and the Heavenly Father that, Yahweh this, Yahweh that, but but Yahweh Shai is not worthy to be praised. You know, he's not worthy of worship, then uh, <coughs> he's not worthy of honor, then guess what, bro? You're not honoring the Father. So you want to say Yahweh this and Yahweh that, but the Most High is looking at you like, oh, you don't want to reverence my Son. Okay, bro. You know what I mean? But it's, you know, I just wanted to speak on that uh, a little bit. Hopefully it's edifying. Let me give all praise, honor, and glory to you. by some y'all shine, by some y'all cargo dice, double honesty, apostles, and those great millstones. Shalom to the elect, man.